But you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. <laughs> oh, yes. What a great car to be behind. Oh, man. All right. Here we are on the bike. Get some riding in. Now, we're not going to be on here very long. The main reason why I'm on here is just so I can get some footage of, of shifting. But it's so great. We got a Ford Hub casting car and something with OnlyFans. There's this car right in front of us, it's Expedition. And it's like, how great is that? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that just made my day right there. Happy New Year, everyone. By the time this video comes out, it'll probably be a few days in. And hopefully 2021 will be better than 2020. We'll see, only time will tell. At the time, while I'm recording this, it's actually New Year's Eve day. But another reason why I wanted to come out here on the bike is because I'm still switching my mic around different places to see if maybe I can get rid of a little bit more of the wind noise. I've done research and, you know, I've asked a few people and they, a couple people have told me maybe I should look into getting a different helmet um, because this one's a little noisy and that noise does transfer over, but I absolutely love this helmet. Uh, the company built well that makes this helmet. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. But they make awesome helmets. They're reliable helmets. And I like the retro look. You know, I don't I don't really care for having a whole bunch of vents. I don't really like my my helmets to look like all angular and have these like weird designs to them. I like a smooth helmet and I like a classic clean look. And that's just my my style. It's a big reason why I also don't use a helmet cam either. Uh, because I don't I don't want it on my helmet now I might change it you know as I get more into more into vlogging which I'm sure I will maybe then I'll I'll suck it up and, and the juice will be worth the squeeze as it were but as for right now I just I have no interest in it you know I have I bought a 360 cam so that I could get footage of, of everything around me um, because I, I don't want to do a, a POV style, everybody does it POV style, and there's a reason for that. I mean, it's, it's popular for moto vloggers because it gives the people that are watching a sense of what they're seeing. You know, but I want to I want to talk to you guys. Like, you know, I want to imagine that you guys are just like this little munchkin sitting on my handlebars, just watching me as I go down. And I don't know if that'll pay off in the end, but we'll see. So I'm not going to say much more uh, except for Happy New Year, and fingers crossed that 2021 is better than 2020. All right, we're back here in the garage. And it's been about uh, a week since I recorded that footage on the bike and pff, man, the country is going crazy right now. But we're not here to talk about that. What we are here to talk about is shifting. I get asked this question all the time. Anytime that I stop anywhere, anytime anybody sees me on the bike, one of the first questions is how I shift and how the whole operation works. So we're gonna go over that real quick. I don't think this video is gonna be super long, which is, I hope that's fine with you guys. Um, the next video, we have some installation stuff. I'll go over that towards the end of the video. Um, but for now, let's get to it. All right, so moving to the bike here and I have it up on the stand for you guys. But the first thing on the shifting side that you're probably gonna notice is the cylinder here. And that is what does all the shifting for me. It's connected, it has a rod that's connected to the shifter um, and down. And we wanted to make sure that we actually kept, kept the shift lever on so that if somebody who wasn't me, who didn't need uh, who didn't need the Clicktronic shifter and could just operate it normally, they would still be able to. So this will, is still able to move back and forth uh, even with that connected. And so from there, it moves up into this little control unit right there in the back, kind of tucked in there. And then from there, it comes up to the bars and you can see the buttons that I press in order to shift up and down. I also have footage of me using my rear brake too. That's super simple for me. Essentially, all I do is just pick up my foot and shift that way. Now, one of the other great things about this bike, besides the Clicktronic system that complements that shifting system really well, is that I also have a Recluse Auto Clutch inside this bike too. And it's great because as, as much as the shifting system really helps me out it's not that good at finding neutral i can find it if i play around enough eventually it'll kind of 
shift itself into neutral, but I would much rather just be able to sit at a stoplight comfortably knowing that my bike's not gonna go anywhere. And so with the recluse system in there, I can go to a stoplight and I can let go of the shift lever and I know my bike's not gonna go anywhere until I roll on the throttle. And the second that I roll on the throttle, it catches and it starts moving me forward. It's an absolutely awesome system. You don't have to be a disabled rider either to use it. I have a few other friends, able-bodied riders, who absolutely love it too. Uh, some people think it's cheating, but if you really care that much about whether or not someone wants to hold in their clutch while they're riding, you're looking for too many reasons to complain. Though yeah, pretty quick video guys. If you know anyone who could possibly use a system like this, please tell them to hit me up, show them this video, let them know that you know they're not the only ones. I've had a, a few people reach out asking if I could give them advice on how to ride after losing their left leg. You know, it's not the end of the world to lose a leg. It sucks, it's definitely an inconvenience, but if there's a will, there's a way. And if you wanna ride motorcycles, there's definitely a way. Especially with today's technology, it's super simple. So yeah, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got some cool things coming up with this bike. Doing up the front end, the front upper end, I should say. I'm not gonna be getting like new wheels or anything, but uh, changing out the headlight housing, uh, getting some new bushings, um, changing out a couple other things uh, that will hopefully make the bike stand out and have just a little bit more personality. So yeah, until that video comes out, guys, have a blast.